Okay, right. so so, the, so Black Christmas. Yeah, yeah Christmas. Black Christmas. Do you want me to start over? Yeah, yeah by all means. It's start a over. bad yeah, movie. It's a it's a bad movie, and it's got rape apology, and that's all I fucking want to say about it. Fuck this movie. It had guns. You uh, like that part. Wow. It has Canadian. It has Canadian guns. Those aren't real. Super <laughs> I know some Canadians who would argue with you. But uh, well, I, I, I'd like to say uh, thank you, Scott, because this is like my new favorite horror film. Wow. <laughs> okay. I had never seen it before when I, I had never it. seen it either. Yeah, and so and I don't know how. But I'd heard about it and heard about it, and it's like seeing it was infamous. You know, it was of its time. It was 1974, and it was yeah. There, there I, I, it. I only knew it from its cult status. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can see him kind of assembling the ideas of how a slasher film is supposed to work. <laughs> yes, and, uh, a crude assembly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, my friend, it's my friend's a big, my friend's a big fan of holiday horror movies, and I told her I was watching this, and she went, "Oh, the bad one." Oh, huh. well, no, I, I, I guess I'm, a, I'm not. No, I'm going to give it. it, it I, think, I think this may be one of the best horror movies I've ever seen. It's bonus really? bonus points for being first on a lot of things. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. It, it is. It is an or originator of the slasher genre. Like yeah. it, you also, definitely get that. And, and it is from remarkably bloodless for the most part. It was. Yeah. I was cut away. expecting some slash blood there, but never happened. Yeah, yeah they but cut the, away every the, time. For the it also beat, it also beat when a stranger calls to the uh, the calls coming from inside your house thing. Yeah, that yeah, was weird. And movie. then it also has like two two biggies for me were that you never ever see the killer. And at the end, the killer is still at large and probably going to murder her in the house. I know. <laughs> unless <laughs> unless you see the killer the entire time and it's the boyfriend. So but was it was it was it what, uh, what, was it Commander Dave Bowman or boyfriend. not? He's dead. Oh, the the boyfriend's dead, so he was a red herring. Yeah, not necessarily what? not necessarily dead. They, ah, they never okay. say he's dead. The filmmakers, and, and then also, and then also, I feel like that was a rewrite on the set. They were like, "Oh, we should make it so that the the killer is still here." There were two endings, and this is well, the one that they ended up going with. Yeah, uh -huh. and they 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 want the, the 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 screenwriter, the original screenwriter, was very happy that they just decided to make the whole thing as ambiguous as possible. I think it worked, and I also think there's so many like that shot. That's behind Chris Yarian right now was holy shit your pants scary. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's so many subtle. I, I feel like this movie maybe because it was finding new things or a new genre, it's the best at it. Like we've seen so many sort of like imitations or forced shit like this, and this just felt really organic to me. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. a different. There's a different holiday that has a way better slasher movie. It but, is slightly um, later and influenced by it, but. Which one? Halloween? Yes. Well, yeah. Halloween, the the Halloween That's is not a holiday. Halloween for me is a farce. Are you period. fucking kidding me, Jim? It absolutely is a holiday. <laughs> I will think, fight I you think, in Temecula. No, I think John Carpenter's a you start better, without me. better filmmaker about this kind of genre than Bob Clark might be. And he took what Bob Clark did and kind of ran with it. No, yeah, no, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's, vast, it's vastly influential on how. No, yeah. Carpenter saw what worked yeah. in this film and actually am yeah. amplified. He left it. out the stuff. That, I mean, like, like, yeah. I mean, I, I, I would also, but I would also say that the character, the, he, like, Bob Clark builds better characters here than Halloween. There's no fucking. Yeah, well, there's a level of fucking movie. Like that <laughs> whole bit in the the, the, the the cop, like the the amount of personality that a lot of. The, the the side players got to inject into their characters like all the police like all yeah the, the John police, Saxon like, in, the, in the office and all those the, they're, the they're police, all characters you know, dumb cop station. laughing cop cop yeah. who kind of cares right. those <laughs> are the three cops <laughs> but the dipship cop the dipship cop yes. was really funny oh and then there's sorry hold on then there's also cop who is stuck at the phone phone company for the entire movie yes yeah yes. although that way, was I'm, intriguing and that's it showed you a little bit of technology there you had to, like that's yeah. how you felt no, that's how you did all yeah. back then yeah exactly. that is and, how, I don't, and i don't uh, i don't see this movie as a as a rape pro rape movie i see this as a one of the only movies that's going to fucking tell people that a guy should have a say in whether or not a woman fucking terminates a pregnancy movie that was because, interesting wasn't it because they fucking should and our yeah. culture says no Right. And, and being someone who got someone pregnant on accident and didn't have a fucking say in it and who is now a father, I'm sorry, but I'm a proponent for the guy should have a fucking say. And this movie was presenting a guy that wanted a baby, which is really the opposite of almost every other situation in the fucking world, mm -hmm. and a girl who didn't. And that was unique and special to me. And I liked it.
I didn't say it was pro rape. Wow. <laughs> I didn't say it was pro rape. I said there was rape apologia. Rape when, apology. When when yeah, you said they, pro rape. When they said when Several they said times. that the uh you can't rape a townie. That's not oh, yeah, that's that not a cool fucked. thing to say out loud. That's a that's that's a, that line is fucked and it's not cool no matter what. Yeah, but that's yeah. a fratty thing to say. <laughs> I, you know, great, but you know what? Don't say it. And well, also, that's I don't true. care. I don't care. It was 1974. Mm-hmm. You should. It was say also that funny shit. that it was a girl that said it. <laughs> that's just even weirder. Also, they had the contract. Margot Kidder. I don't think she was too far off of her natural character in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I was reading a bit about how this was made, and it's she was the whole package. Apparently, she yeah. was after a couple of days of shooting they kind of left her alone she did their lines and they kind of you know, couldn't handle her basically she was better yeah, than in superman but yeah but she was good though in terms of like you know they having this this insouciant drunk character who just kind of was bulldozes through the she years. was drinking in the police station i know it was nuts <laughs> that us up. i mean look hold on everyone has life goals jared <laughs> No, I thought it was amazing. I like, I, I love this movie so much, Scott. Like, you got... allow me to put this beer down on your your uh, breathalyzer while you tell yeah. me what's going on. Oh yeah, on. pretty much. This movie did. I mean, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's a little clunky, but yeah. it did, like it did everything for me though. It right. was just like, it was scary. It was funny. It was like, you know, fun. Mm-hmm. Um, Ninety minutes and yet somehow still too long. It was. It was. I thought it was tense. It was. It was really super grainy. Yeah. Uh, it, but, uh, but that kind of worked for I, it after a while. It did. And, uh, like the POV like shots were really interesting because how they do that back then, you know, this got other with it with an well, area. I, I found the, the 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 look of the movie, particularly the way that the any light source bloomed, particularly the Christmas lights. I just yeah. found intoxicating after a while. Is that really thick? Yeah, that really thick grain. It was, it was a really super cool. rich feel. They probably pushed the uh, the film. It this also felt really interesting. I think it added to the scare factor. It just, I felt dirt. It feels dirty, this movie. Yeah, feels, yeah. it is. I, Everything I, felt grimy. Know. That was the yeah, grimy. That, 70s, right. that 70s look. I guess, but it was it's, Canada. I mean, it was well, the was least the, polite Canadians. <laughs> uh, yes, well, this is all about the least polite Canadians. As much as we were talking about um, the wrist cutters and it being like a who's who of a particular type of character actor, this was like the same thing. Like I recognize like every person in this movie. Yeah. David Cronenberg movies, Mm -hmm. Ivan Reitman movies, Second City TV. I know. Oh, Andrea Martin. And and, you know, random 2001. 2001. Uh, Right. But he's also did a lot of, uh, Kier Delay did a lot of Canadian tax shelter cinema. Right. Yeah, did that that one I recommended a long time ago to you guys. If you haven't seen it, it's called Bunny Lake is Missing. It's so yeah, funny. That's a good film. So <laughs> Olivia good. Olivia Husi, who now has a big career in voice acting. Like oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it huh. it's definitely it's definitely a bunch of people you know, but it's also a bunch of people you know collecting a paycheck and mm-hmm. that's it. I remember well, Olivia Olivia Husi who, from who's Romeo, that, Romeo and Juliet. Did you ever see that yeah, one? She was, she was Juliet. I know, so, but that was, she was the most heartbreaking Juliet I'd ever seen, too. Oh, yeah. Like nobody, nobody thought this was going to amount to anything. And I think no, it no, and it didn't. Mm-hmm. At it the time, it was the audience later. Uh huh. the The whole story the about House. the whole story about um, NBC trying to show this, and then it was like a week after Ted Bundy killed those women yeah. in the sorority house, and they're like, "Oh, we're not going to show this anywhere in the <laughs> Southeast." And it's like, "Oh, fuck." Okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm definitely glad i finally saw it like i, I actually do there's a little bit of me like God, i wish i'd seen this a lot earlier because there was a point in my life where i was like really into splatter movies like just going out of my way to see every single one of them and for some reason i could never find a copy yeah. of this i know we i've been skipping this for years i heard this was and, like the ultimate so like i'm sure had i seen it at the time i would have you know that sort of romantic you know member berries you know, like, i wish it had more splatter honestly I a, like yeah. i i honestly yeah. like like this movie doesn't in my opinion have enough quality to it to be like oh all the deaths happen vaguely off screen or in first person or book. whatever like mm-hmm. like like i i wish it had a little bit more blood i wish it had a little bit more visceral right anything to it like i just i didn't it was it was scary i didn't feel anything when i was watching it it was just mm-hmm. like uh, oh i did man i was no. 
Now, the girl with the plastic bag on her head, that was just that's like, a great. That's an iconic. Uh, but, that's, just, but that's five minutes into the movie. And no, then it shows uh, up over and yeah, over they, and they keep over again. Showing, they keep showing it, but like it doesn't. I thought that was strong. I thought it was a strong decision. I thought that also, really. Also, you could see her from the street. Like, yeah. Which is great. Which was down. great. That wonderful pullback shot at the end where you see yeah. her in the window with the oh my yeah. god, that was wonderful. I love how it, and it seemed pretty realistic how like she was up in the attic the whole time. No one had bothered to go up there and look. Mm -hmm. And they're like literally the killers like hanging out in the house the whole movie. Uh, pretty people, much. People, people are coming in and out. People are to me that seemed really refreshing. I mean, you know, like yeah, but I'm, just, I, I'm gonna disagree with you. Completely. I'm gonna dis I'm gonna disagree with you saying that was realistic. Yeah. I'm perfectly okay with you saying that that's good, but I'm going to disagree that that's realistic. <laughs> it's it's completely implausible because by the end of the movie, they know of exactly what has gone down in this house, and they leave the girl alone, unconscious okay. on the bed. Well, that's that, was, that was yeah. Now that and was they the never had a problem with. Yeah, they nuts. never looked in the attic after no, all this. No, happened, you know where they, they never looked. Up the ladder. You know where they never looked was the laundry room. I'll bet you he was down there doing all of his laundry, waiting for people to come in <laughs> like the every house. Self -respecting no, college that, student. Like every self-respecting college kid who needs I'll, to get his laundry done. He found a that. place that they I'll, don't charge you for fucking laundry. He, <laughs> exactly. he wasn't a student. He was an adjunct uh, professor. Either way. There's no way they would have left her alone at the end. I'll agree with that. That's the uh, one thing. Uh, again, funny. this is a bad cop movie, so... <laughs> No, maybe it's that a Canadian. Well, there was actually had... technically John. There was a cop still on the porch at the end right. from that pullback yeah. spot. So maybe yeah. he was hanging out on the porch. I don't know. Smoking a cigarette or whatever he was no, doing. No, maybe it's the Canadian presumption that there's no guns involved, so therefore it's not that dangerous. You know what I mean? No. Okay, that's a big. I, well, I was a little shoot like shoot they, 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 they leave someone there, but I did like. I did like him like hanging out there the whole time. Also, there are guns involved. That guy got shot in the ass. That's true. <laughs> and they get a yeah, but he's gun. not a victim. Mm -hmm. The Canadian, <laughs> the Ontario uh, police aren't aren't bobbies. They carry guns. That one guy laughed a little. Canada, too hard Canada the has more guns show. per capita than the U.S. So yeah, like, but they point him at they point him at moose. Yeah, but they've got like a hundredth of. Uh, mm -hmm. The yeah, they have a functional society. Leader. Congratulations, Canada. Okay, anyway, well, you know, this, this <laughs> movie is making fun of that. So then, uh, just just going around the room, I just uh, I this is the one I actually picked. Everyone, do you like it? Dislike it? I liked it. Anybody else? I I I, I I'm glad I saw it. I liked it. I liked it enough. Okay, this how about two, dislike? Two two huge thumbs up, dude. No, this is like one of my favorite movies. My favorite new movie, Scott. Man, this that's like me and Generation P. I just that's this, this was like I fucking love this movie. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I want to I give it a qualified thumbs down because I, I thought about it and it was like, I didn't think it was a well-made movie. I, I thought it was pretty awful generally, mm -hmm. but I will give it one thing that the POV stuff from the point of view of the killer, like when he was smashing up the attic mm -hmm. and he would have his yeah. moments and stuff. And then those phone calls. Phone the, calls. Oh, no, the phone calls. Can we, I, let me say something about that because it sounded a lot of the time like he was doing not only multiple characters, but there was like overlapping layers of sound. They did these sound collage things. Uh -huh. It was like, they were well, terrifying. It sounded well, really weird. Look, it was like, he was like obviously playing out like a scenario. And the, then, the guy that did the voices, if you go on the IMDb, apparently one of the ways he got his voice to sound like that is he did a number of the calls while standing on his head because it compressed his larynx. <laughs> not making this up. But also there's, there's like weird. the one call, there's two calls where you, it sounds like someone's screaming and it is it's the it's the girls yeah because you, you don't realize the first girl that he bagged that he does the bag mm -hmm. that she's screaming because we, we haven't yet seen when he the second girl he gets or whatever like you can you can actually hear her screaming too on top of like but he's also like working out like a He's got like a scenario going on right he's got characters yeah billy Did he killed billy the girl and, in the park yeah. Man, so we're we're back to like uh, the M Night did Shyamalan. He, did then, he huh? did he kill the girl in the park? Like that's the the that thing. we don't know entirely. I'm assuming yes, because how many killers could there be in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I live in I live in Washington State, which literally has per capita the most serial killers of any state in the country. So, <laughs> yeah. Like there could be a lot. There's 40 million people in Canada. Go so. Evergreen State, <laughs> right? But. Uh, yeah, so the second half of my conditional thumbs down is that 
I was thinking about what Chris was just saying about how he wished he'd, he'd seen it in his heyday of slasher movies when he s would seek out any and all content that was like this because he really liked the genre. I did. And so as I was condemning this movie in my mind, because I don't really care for the horror genre at all, um, I thought maybe I was being too hard on it because I thought about my my youth when I would watch any terrible science fiction movie, you know, a, a dubbed Danish movie or anything, if it had to be I was telecast. So it's Zardoz. Something like this. Uh-huh. Zardoz. Uh -huh. Well, well, yeah, you know, like, that's actually good. Those are good qualifications, John. There was I think that like I think you have to go back to, you know, knowing that Tad is right. It's a it's a huge precursor to Halloween, which oh, is God. definitely a, a better film, but I think that like this is also like I said before just having seen, you know, Peeping Tom, like this is definitely taking from that yeah. British yeah. film. And oh, like- Oh, that was a heck of a movie, man. We have seen yeah. that. Yeah. And, and I think this was, I think this is a very sort of, I, the, I loved it. And it's, yeah, it's definitely clunky, but it's got cult status because it was groundbreaking. This is definitely a groundbreaking American film. Yeah. Canadian film. Canadian, Canadian film. Canadian, Canadian film. <laughs> Canadian. For, yeah. for, for the horror movie uh, experts. So this was the first time the calls coming from inside the house was Very used. first time. I believe so. The second yeah. is so, when a stranger calls. Yeah, so what I did, guys, you know what I did, you guys? Right when I finished this film, I watched When a Stranger Calls. Wow. Uh -huh. What year was that? That was 82? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 79. 89? Oh, 79. 79. Oh, 79. 79, okay. But also, it's it's, it's in the parody world. one too. That whole that that what was that one with no you know, student bodies. No, no. Yeah, yeah. But the and also it was the first one with the POV of the killer. That's I think. What I, think, that, I think although Peeping Tom did a little of that. Tom. a little bit, a little bit. Oh, yeah. It was clunky. That. That. That's why this movie borrows from that. Yeah, yeah. So here's but, my question though for 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 the experts in this movie: the call is coming from inside the house was not a reveal. The audience knew this the whole time. Yeah, yes. I was shocked that it was dis dispensed with in that way. I thought it was going to be this big. The whole audience was supposed to go, "Oh my God, he's in the house!" And that's not what happens in this movie. Does it happen yeah. that way? And when a stranger calls, yes, yes, oh. it's a shock. In, in, in a stranger calls, when it happens, it's like you you shit yourself. Like it's like, <laughs> yeah. And then right. again, and then again in um, that's the three. right way to do it. Mm -hmm. True, but I also loved. There was something that I loved about the phone company guy being an actual character in this film. Yeah, um, yeah. and I loved seeing the inner workings of his, like, you know, his his place of work. The, the good crash, the good crash zoom onto the the rotating. Um, yeah, and just yeah, all, all of the shit that he yeah. had to do to like back then to trace a call. You yeah, see, you see he was him. running around and looking yeah, and looking like, all yeah, the switches. Like video drum. I thought that was yes. very, very cool. I really yeah. liked that. It really was. Yeah. So it didn't bother me that, I, I mean, John's right. It should have been a reveal. We kind of already knew. No, I, so I don't think that uh, actually matters to the plot. Like, I, I like, that's I one, that's, it. Yeah, like, one thing for me is like the, the plot is consistent. Like, I don't think it's good, but I think it's consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I think it definitely like follows A to B to C in yeah. that. But I don't, I just didn't find it compelling. No. Like I didn't find it interesting and I actually hated almost all of the characters. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. like the dad, the dad I thought was all right. The movie, like, is that like, like, that's Bud Court, right? No. <laughs> the, the cop, the, the, the one cop who isn't a piece of shit was kind of okay. Yeah. And then it was like, uh, Hussey, I guess is all right. She she doesn't have much of a character. Yeah, well. like she's a little, the, 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 the house mother. She was yeah, funny. fuck her. No, no, like, no, no, again, I don't, no, I don't really care. Know. Can we talk a bit about Andrea Martin and her frizzy uh, perm and her granny glasses? Because <laughs> she was right, oh, right out of the 70s, man. The early oh, 70s. Oh my God. That was like every babysitter I ever had when I was a kid. Chopstick, <laughs> chopstick through the hat into yeah. the hair yeah, exactly. was her best thing she did as a character. Yeah, I know. In the entire but or, what, or yeah, yelling what for the we... yelling for the cat all the time. But, the but what, what a start, yeah. huh? Going on there. See, they have some great and that's the thing, is like they have some great false scares in that. Like when she's yelling for the cat mm. and you think the killer's gonna come, but it's actually the uptight father. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a uh, pseudo I, cat scare. You're like almost alien with a pseudo cat scare. But Dumb. that's like what Carpenter stole in terms of because nowadays if you did that scene, they would have a big crash of music, you know, with it. Yeah. yeah. You say was, stole, was, I say improved. I would okay. argue, so, but I'm saying the technique is there where Bob Clark knew, like, you don't have to have any sound effect. You just have the character show up, and it's fucking scary enough. Like, no. just like, just like the doctor by the bush, and the the, the officer taps his shoulder. You think it's going to be Michael Myers, but he doesn't do a big, you know. He just, it's just the action. But and we no, go, no, oh, shit. <laughs> so the other thing too is that none of it was scary to me. Like literally, none of this movie was scary to me. It was just oh, man, like, was fucking well, you think that was you, or you think that was the time? Because remember, in nineteen 1930- no, it, no, yeah. I, I think it's the movie because they're yeah. like, like, I can watch The Exorcist still to this day after seeing it ten. 15 20 times mm-hmm. and there's still points in that movie where it's like shit, it's unbearable, shit this yeah. is <laughs> fucked up uh-huh. like i'm not and i never had that in this movie that i hadn't seen before like i was there, literally Bob. just like the entire movie i was just like i have to you, imagine again. would you just fucking kill them already <laughs> just That's kill them kill them I, the eye looking through the, the little slit was pretty creepy yeah. to me yeah you know, that was where, i think terrifying. we're just all too used to hide body counts in these kind of movies no it didn't it just didn't work for me <laughs> like right. What one person I, I dies just, in The Exorcist and he dies falling out a window. Like, uh-huh. it's not about body count. It's about how they fucking put it on screen. And this movie just didn't put it on screen for me enough. Well, you know, maybe... maybe you know, that um, first call, though, when he's going crazy, and then at the end he just goes... He snaps into regular, I'll kill you. Yeah, That was right. fucking insane, dude. All right, well, well, I mean, lifting out, <laughs> lifting out of here, we just where does this fall into the Bob Clark cinematic universe? That's, I asked that question well, earlier. Because we well, got, he's got, he's got, he's got two of the most popular Christmas films. That are I know the first popular. one was Christmas Story, which is 1949 or 1950. Then we had, um, I think, oh. uh, uh, Porky's was supposed to be set in the 50s. Yeah, yeah. So then we had Black Christmas, which is contemporary. Well, and, and did anybody see Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things? Which pre- you which told me about that, but I never saw it. No. Yeah, no, I need to find a copy of that. He okay. actually made, but he made a Christmas story after both of those. That was made. I know, but I'm just yeah, saying he, he, was, he, was, he was contributing. He was contributing works to his universe of films. And yeah, then, the kid then, from the Christmas story is the murderer in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> you never right. know. It could be it could possibly be. I was surprised at the kid from the Christmas story. It, it could be because they made him eat that much fucking soap. 